Hello and welcome to this month's po- podcast from Blue Gary High School. In a pack program we will be talking about what girls really really like, handbags, clothes or whatever. We also got the views of the boys who told us what they liked. There is another episode of our serial, Nighttime at the LRC. And finally, our intrepid political reporter gets to do her stuff with the local councillor. All coming up in this podcast from Blairgarry High School. What's your favourite book? Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince. And why? Because it's interesting. Who's your favourite character? Hermione. And why? She's smart, intelligent and smart. And Ashley and Emma caught up with a best-selling author, Catherine McPhail. What made you decide to become an author? Uh, It was something I've always wanted to do. I can't remember a time I didn't dream of being a writer. I think just because I love stories and I always love making up stories. So you didn't dream of becoming anything else? No. Welcome, my children. Tonight we have for you a story unlike any other. Except the night at the museum. The tale I'm about to tell you is one of adventure, excitement, and books. Books that come to life before your very eyes. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> have you ever heard of movies? Shall we start then? Two cows are standing in a field. One says to the other, Are you worried about mad cow disease? The other one says, No, it doesn't worry me. I'm a horse. What is your job and what does it involve? My name's Rachel Stevenson and I'm a school health nurse. Um, I'm a registered general nurse um, and I'm also a qualified midwife. What's your job and what is it about? My name is um, Elizabeth Grant and I'm a local councillor for Blair Gary and Glens and I'm based at Two High Street but I work from, from Two High Street in Perth and home. Now we're going to have a quick fire round. Coronation Street EastEnders. I don't watch either, but I used to. Um, I think I um, used to like Coronation Street about 30 years ago. A dog or a cat? Both. Like. We finally have the results for our online poll. We've asked you what your favourite fashion item was. For girls, the choice was handbags, makeup, clothes, shoes, bling, or mobile phone. For boys, it was bling, clothes, shoes, toiletries, bags, and mobile phone. You responded amazingly to our poll and proved lots of feedback. We have counted and up the entries and the results are over 50% of boys said mobile phones was their favourite thing. Bags and clothes came a joint second. For the girls, the favourite by a mile was clothes and handbags and phones came a close joint second. After his valiant attempt to become the largest gaseous planet, Gareth is relaxing as he attempts his next world record attempt. After all that fizzy pop, Gareth said we should come and find him in the staff room jacuzzi. And he said he would be decent. So let's see. Wow, this is fantastic. I've never been here before. The soft lights, the candles, the joysticks and Gareth. Gareth, what are you doing? You're in Miss McBride's private gold-plated hot tub and there's no water, just tins of baked beans. Yeah, it's for the record. Which record? For lying in a bath of beans. But the beans are meant to be out of the tin. Says who? Well, just about everyone, actually. That's just silly. You get sauce everywhere and the beans could get up your nose. That's disgusting. Oh, Gareth, another one bites the dust. Gareth will record the pen. Hey, we have Georgie and Danielle and they're going to tell us why they think Hollyoaks is the best soap on telly. I think Hollyoaks is the best soap at the moment as they have had a very big situation happening over the past week. They have got their viewers gripping the TV set as plans for the McQueens to die or live are in the hands of Nell, their secret brother their mother never told them about. But up to today, Hollyoaks are still beating Coronation Street and EastEnders as a lot of unfailing secrets are still to hit the scene. Go Hollyoaks! <laughs> Thanks for listening. See you next month.